Okay, so welcome back to this uh, next uh, this morning session of this uh, ISER IIC joint meeting. And our next speaker is uh, Dr. Radhika Gandapati, and uh, he's, she is going to speak on some representations of the Hecke algebras of reductive PID groups with IN level structure. Radhika, please. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you to the organizers for the for the invitation to speak here. So what I'm going to talk about today is based on uh, a joint work with Shua her. Uh, the paper is there on archive. So I will begin with some preliminaries. I won't go into the proofs of the theorems, but I'll at least try to state them. So let me begin with some preliminaries. The, uh, the uh, fine while group. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, so I'll first talk about uh, two well-known presentations of the affine Hecke algebra, and then I'll talk about what the analogs would be when you go to the Hecke algebra with the uh, IN level structure. So let uh, X, uh, I will start with the root system. Um, be a root system where uh, where pi is a set of simple roots. And uh, W0, which is uh, uh, generated by the simple reflections, alpha and pi is the corresponding while group, the finite while group. And uh, inside this, we are going to, uh, not inside this, I'm sorry, but we are going to consider the group W tilde, which is the group X lowest star, semi-direct product with W0. So this is the set of all T lambda times W, where lambda is in X star and uh, W and W naught. And uh, 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 the group, and okay, so I'll just quickly say what multiplication looks like here. T lambda W times T lambda prime. W prime is just T lambda plus W lambda prime and W W prime. Okay, so, uh, and inside W tilde, this is what is called the Iwa weil group. And inside W tilde, we can look at the group W A, which is Q check, semi-direct product W zero. Here, Q check is the Z lattice uh, spanned by R check. Um, then a few quick things. WA is a Coxeter group. Uh, uh, it is uh, it is generated by um, by uh, SA, which is the set of all uh, S alpha. For alpha and pi, you take all the simple reflections, and then you also take the affine simple reflection, which is given by my T minus. Uh, sorry. There is no sign here. T minus alpha check times S alpha, where alpha belongs to pi m. So pi m is basically the set of uh, uh, the maximal elements of R of R relative to pi uh, with respect to the set of simple roots pi. Okay, and there are a few. There are uh, so let me list a few properties of W A. W A is a normal subgroup of W tilde, and uh, and uh, let us define omega, which is the quotient of W tilde by W A. So it's basically X lowest R mod Q check. And uh, there is a length function uh, on W tilde, extending the one on W A, extending the uh, function on W A. And uh, omega is precisely the set of uh, elements of length zero. Omega is the set of uh, elements of length zero. Okay, so now uh, for associated to uh, these groups, we have braid groups. So, for, so my, I want to talk about the affine Hecke algebras, but we, let me just quickly say what the braid groups are. So, the braid group uh, uh, B W tilde of W tilde is generated by. Uh, uh, by TW, uh, W and W tilde subject to the relations. Uh, TW, TW prime is TW, W prime if the length adds up. Length of W, W prime is the length of W plus the length of W prime. Okay, so this is the braid group associated to it. And the Hecke algebra of W tilde, you can look at the C algebra, the, the group algebra of the braid group, and quotient out by the quadratic relation. So this is Ts minus 1 times Ts plus Qs um, for S in Sa. So, so I have to say what these Qs are. So uh, for, for each 
S and S A, let, uh, let Q S, B and C, it's a complex number, with the property that QS equals QS prime whenever uh, S and S prime are W conjugate or uh, W delta conjugate. Okay, so this is the, the this is the quotient of the group algebra of the braid group by this quadratic relation. For example, you if you take QS to be one uh, for all S, then you will just get the group algebra of the of the Ivahori Weil group. But the quantity that will be of interest to us in the from the point of view of representation theory of PID groups is this QS will be a power of Q depending on depending on S, where Q is the cardinality of the residue feet. Uh, okay, so we'll get there in a minute. But uh, so I will, uh, so yeah, so there's some notation, we will also, we will also, we will also denote the elements of uh, 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 HW tilde as TW and so on. Okay, so I'll use the same notation. Now, um, Similarly, we can construct uh, H H A, which is the group algebra of the affine Weil group, quotient out again by these quadratic relations T S minus one times T S plus Q S uh, S and S A. Okay, and um, so the, of course this can also be done for the. Yeah, I, I just focus on this just to keep things simple. So this is the affine Hecke algebra corresponding to the affine Weil group W A, and this pre, this the presentation that I wrote on above the the the, uh, the the presentation above can be refined. Uh, the condition on length additivity uh, that uh, TW times TW prime, this condition can be rewritten as follows. So I can look at the group algebra generated by TS, uh, where S and S A, and then I quotient out by these two these two relations, TS, TS prime, and so on, is TS prime, TS, so on, where each side has M of S, S prime factors, and um, so the order of S S prime is M of S S prime. And then I also quotient out by the quadratic relation T S minus one times T S plus Q S is, is zero. Okay, so there are the, these are two uh, well-known ways of uh, well-known presentations for the uh, for the affine Hecke algebra. Now I uh, I want to talk. I mean, we'll keep this in mind. But what I want to do is look at uh, Hecke algebras that arise naturally when one uh, studies representations of periodic groups. So let uh, let G be a, a connected reductive group uh, over uh, over a non-Archimedean local field. Um, okay, and uh, A is a, say, a maximal F split torus. And uh, I'll also fix some notation. So Fs is a separable closure of F. Um, and uh, F brev is the completion of the uh, maximal unramified extension of F contained in Fs, in Fs. Okay, and uh, uh, phi of G A is the relative root system, uh, the set of relative roots of uh, G with respect to the storage A. And uh, the group W tilde, let uh, W tilde be, uh, this is the Iwahori Weil group, uh, NG of A of F mod ZG of A of F one, where uh, this group uh, ZG of A of F one is the is the unique parahoric subgroup um, subgroup of uh, of ZG of A of F. So so for example, if uh, so for example when example when G is split, uh, when G is split. This group is just uh, ZG of A of F. Uh, the maximal parahoric subgroup is just the O points of O points of the storage A. Okay, so so W tilde is called the uh, the Ivahori Weil group. Uh, of so of G I of F, question. yeah. So here W Sorry? tilde, I have a question. So here W delta is not the, I mean, 
extended oil group no this is uh, just uh, ordinary oil group no no this is the uh, what do you mean extend so uh, so I, mean, I i think the terminology extended affine oil group is res reserved to the uh, ivahori oil group of the adjoint group so this is the ivahori yeah so the so for example when the group this is, is split ivahori one when the group is split this is x lower star t semideric product w0 this you mean okay okay thank you yeah but, i mean you can easily see that for example yes, right yes. i can just write down you have one goes to uh, t of f mod t of f1 and then goes to w tilde goes to uh, sorry uh, uh, yeah w tilde goes to ng uh, sorry okay so maybe i am confusing i mean i feel that this w tilde will be nga f upon nga a of of o i mean o, the ring of integer no no i am looking at so in in the split case I, the group i am looking at is the normalizer yes. of t of f Over. mod t o t o yes yes this is the group i am looking at yeah yes, so yes, this yes. is the extended affine while group the, yes, e, yes, for yes. the if you if you think about the adjoint group the, i think the correct terminology is extended affine while group but i am looking i mean but the general term is the ivahori yeah, yeah, the extra, yeah because you yeah, yeah okay uh, okay Thank yeah you. yeah yeah sure sure yeah okay so uh, but anyway a fact so inside w tilde uh, um we have this subgroup uh, there is a subgroup wa uh which is basically which is the which is the ivahori weil group but attached to attached to uh, the uh, attached to uh, gsc of f so i look at the derived subgroup of g take it simply connected cover and then you look at the group g sc of f the the if i look at the ivahori weil group of uh, th this group this embeds inside w tilde and uh, that is what we denote as wa the point is wa is an affine weil group um, is an affine weil group in the sense that we just discussed about in in the sense discussed about uh meaning that there is a there is a, this is a, you you can look at bruhatets for this there is a, a reduced uh, a root system sigma um such that uh, wa is basically q check of uh, sigma semi direct product with w0 of sigma exactly in the sense that we had uh, discussed earlier okay so i just want to remark uh, uh, one uh, uh, just make a quick remark uh so when g is split uh, when g is split sigma is just uh, uh, phi of g a it's the it's the it is the it is the absolute root system of g with respect to the torus a but when g is non split but when g is non split um sigma is not necessarily the relative uh, uh, necessarily phi of g a but is closely related to it but is uh, closely related to it um this is called the uh, 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 uh echelonage root system they call it they, but, but we can just call it the uh, scale root system so sigma is a scale root system of phi of g a so uh, let, let me maybe give you a quick example so if you look at the split bn uh if i look at split bn you know that it's a fine dinkin diagram i mean for those of you who have seen mcdonald's book and its classification there you you know that the, the split bn has this diagram so for example here phi of g a is uh, sigma i guess you can just take g to be the odd orthogonal group um okay and then there is also this diagram bn dual uh, which is the which arises uh, as the affine uh, dinkin diagram of a non split group so this is uh, Uh, this pretty much looks like bn except that the orientation is different so here um uh, the group that we will be looking at is a quasi split ramified unitary group uh, over f and then uh, phi of uh, ga the relative root system as you know is of type c um and uh, sigma is of type b okay so uh, so this is one thing that you have to keep in mind so phi of ga and sigma are closely related they every root in phi of ga is a scale uh, is a scalar multiple of a root in sigma but they are not uh, the root systems are not identical okay so uh, now uh, let uh, so 
uh, okay so and uh, as before uh, we have a, a a length function on on w tilde extending uh, extending the one on w a uh, and uh, omega uh, uh, which is w tilde more w a is the set of elements of length zero under this length function. Now, uh, uh, taking looking at all of this from a slightly different point of view, you can look at the apartment. So consider uh, uh, consider A, which is A of uh, the apartment of A, F, which is the apartment in the Bruhatitz building of G over F. And, uh, and let uh, V in uh, A be a special vertex. Then, um, you can after after identifying the apartment with the special vertex a is basically the x lower star of eight and sarar okay so you can actually think of your apartment after you make a choice of an origin the apartment you can just think of it as as this uh, this this space and let phi f fine um, be the uh, set of uh, affine roots affine roots of uh, of uh, uh, of G uh, with uh, of yeah of this data G A, okay, and uh, with uh, with the sigma as above the scaled root system attached to uh, phi of G A as above the the null spaces of uh, 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 yeah the null spaces of uh, corresponding to these affine linear functionals are exactly uh, the null spaces of the uh, affine functionals. Sigma plus Z are identical to those of to those of phi. Okay, and uh, the, so you you will this 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 will put a simplicial structure when you look at the null spaces, the vanishing hyperspaces corresponding to these affine roots. Your apartment will basically become a simplicial complex, and then uh, a choice a choice of a while chamber, as you know, a choice of a while chamber contained in A. Um, this is a while chamber. Basically, amounts to choosing a set of simple roots, a set of finite, uh, set of finite simple roots, and uh, a choice of a choice of an alcove. Um, basically, corresponds to setting choosing a set of uh, affine simple roots. Uh, which is basically, you know, pi union, I guess, pi m. So, so this will basically yield the set S A, which will then give you the Coxeter group W. Okay. Now let uh, let I be the Ivahori subgroup of uh, of G of F uh, associated to this alcove A. Uh, associated to this alcove A, then the point is that G of F admits this double decom uh, double coset decomposition, uh, I, W tilde I, where this is the uh, Ivahori while group. Okay, and then you can look at this Hecke algebra, H of uh, G of F I. Um, so this is the, this is the Ivahori Hecke algebra. Um, it is spanned by characteristic functions of i w i, where w is an element of w tilde, and uh, when when uh, when g is uh, semi simple and simply connected, as I said, that is uh, the Ivahori while group contains the affine while group, which is basically the uh, the uh, Ivahori while group of the simply connected data. You uh, you get your h to be h a, and then you can and then and then uh, we have the we have the, the two presentations that I mentioned earlier. Um, uh, okay, so let me just uh, maybe quickly write one of them. So for, for let, let me focus on HA for simplicity. I'm basically that amounts to assuming that my group is semi-simple and simply connected. So the generators are um, uh, one I W I where W is in W tilde and the relations are um, 
so let me maybe call this f w dot uh, so that I can uh, and the relations are f w dot uh, convolved with f w dot prime is f w dot w dot prime if the length adds up length of w uh, plus length of w prime is length of w w prime and uh, and then you also have the, the quadratic relation. So fs dot with fs dot is qs minus one times uh, fs dot plus qs times uh, the identity element basically. Here, what is qs? qs is the q to the L brev of s. Uh, so q is the cardinality of the residue field, cardinality of the residue field. And uh, L brev of s is the is the length function um, on uh, on the Iwahori Weil group over f brev. Okay, so you look at the group over f brev, and uh, you can look at the Iwahori Weil group a there, and uh, w tilde embeds inside w tilde f brev. In fact, w tilde is just w tilde f brev take the Frobenius invariance. So this is how, uh, so W tilde actually sits inside uh, W tilde F prev. And this length function is the length function of, uh, uh, is the length of S viewed as an element of this larger group, okay? So uh, so when the group is split, the length functions agree. Otherwise this L brev is like a, is like a weighted function, okay? Now uh, the, the, uh, the, qu the question that uh, we are gonna, the remaining uh, whatever time I have, so this, this group I admits a nice descending filtration. Um, uh, filtration I M um, for M greater than or equal to one. And we are interested in this Hecke algebra H of G of F I M. So, uh, and we, the, so the question that we uh, looked at is the, what are the analogs? So we have these two presentations. Okay, I've written the one in terms of FW, but I also can write this in terms of S state. I can take these as the generators as well. Completely analogous to what we discussed in the affine case. Okay, so uh, so so there are so then uh, we can look at what, we can ask what the analogs of those two presentations are when we look at this Hecke algebra with uh, deeper deeper structure. Okay, so the first theorem, uh, this is uh, joint with the uh, Shuaha. So the Hecke algebra, um, H of uh, G of F with I N for, for N greater than or equal to one is generated, uh, is generated by uh, the characteristic functions I N, G, I N, uh, G N, G of F uh, subject to the following relations. So let me subject to uh, relations, but uh, subject to the relations, let uh, let pi be the map from G of F to W tilde, where uh, uh, G, G basically goes to W if uh, G belongs to I, W, I, okay? Uh, then, uh, the first thing, the first condition, which is sort of completely trivial, but we still have to state it because we are writing down an exhaustive list of relations. One i and g, if uh, yeah, if 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 i and g i n is i n g prime i n, then uh, one i n g i n, the characteristic function is one i n g prime i n, and then the second condition, which is analogous to what we had above, if the length of pi of g g prime equals the length of pi of g plus the length of pi of g prime uh, then uh, one i n g g prime i n is uh, uh, one i n g i n star one i n g prime i n and the third condition uh, which is uh, which we label as two if if pi of g equals s is an affine simple reflection, then uh, what, what is the analog of the quadratic relation that we had put in, right? One i n g i n star one i n g prime i n is uh, q to the L brev of s times one i n g g prime i n if, uh, if pi of g g prime is pi of g prime. 
And then Q to the L brev of S times the sum over U in T S N mod uh, I N. I mean, you don't have to worry too much about this group. This is this quotient is uh, is is a power of Q. It is it has cardinality a power of Q. Okay, one I N uh, U G G prime I N, where if 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 pi of uh, G G prime is less than pi of G prime. This is with respect to the Bruja order on the on the Weil group. Okay, so here P S is the uh, is the parahoric subgroup uh, associated to S, um, and uh, P S N is its uh, P S N is its uh, nth moi Prasad filtration. Okay, so this is the first presentation, but then the next thing, uh, as you know, we as we just discussed, it is we are not going to throw in all the elements of the uh, affine or the Ivahori Weil group. We just wanted to want to throw in the uh, simple reflections and uh, perhaps the elements of length zero as well. So to refine this presentation, let me just point out the difficulty to refine the presentation. Um, we want uh, so. So, okay, so we recall that W tilde is NG of A of F mod uh, this ZG of A of F1. Uh, so for, for W uh, in W tilde, I can, can, choose, can choose a representative GW for it inside NG of A of F. But then, um, so the, the point is we, we do not know uh, uh, and the the the, the 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 one observation is ZG of A of F1 is always contained in I. So this choice of representative really doesn't matter when you're looking at uh, when you're looking at the Ivahori subgroup itself and the Heke algebra corresponding to the Ivahori. But then when you go to deeper levels, uh, that is not the case anymore. So uh, so for 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 n greater than or equal to one, this doesn't hold. Um, so now we are looking for, so we are looking for, uh, for uh, uh, representatives, uh, representatives NS, uh, S and SA, such that um, the, they satisfy coxeter relations, right? Because that is what allows you to go from one presentation to the other. Coxeter relations, that is, we are looking for SS prime to the M of S, S prime equals one implies that NS, NS prime, and so on is NS prime, NS, and so on. So we are basically looking for elements in the in the group itself that has this property. And the second thing is we want to understand NS square. Uh, what is the uh, what what is this element look like now uh, there is this very old work of Titch, which uh, which is well known for the finite while group so w, if the, for for w0 which is the absolute while group uh, and uh, s0 denoting the uh, finite simple reflections um, the existence of such elements is known okay uh, this is due to Titch's representative satisfying uh, one exist um, and further n s square is just uh, alpha check of minus one where s is s alpha okay so the uh, so the existence of such representatives it is known so it gives you an exact sequence so the tits group fits, fits into an exact sequence uh, uh, of this kind where this is an elementary abelian true two group Okay, so the Tits group is uh, is is what we can uh, one way to think about it is it's the best approximation of the finite while group itself inside the group. So you want to find a subgroup of G of F that is as close to as W as possible, and uh, the Tits group accomplishes that. So our question uh, that uh, that we are interested in to get the other presentation does does uh, the Tits group of uh, the Ivahari while group exist? Okay, so this is the this is what the question uh, becomes. If you want to refine the presentation that we wrote down into uh, something finer, it comes down to the question of the existence of the Tits group of the Ivahori Weil group. So let me state a theorem. So uh, this is again joint with Shuva. So assuming assuming that T tilde of W tilde 
that exists. Uh, the Heke algebra, um, H of uh, G of F with I N admits a finer presentation, admits a, a finer presentation uh, with generators one, uh, yeah, one I N, uh, N S I N, uh, S N S A, and then one I N, N tau I N, uh, tau is an omega. So these are elements of uh, N S, N tau, and so on are elements of G of F, which, uh, which basically are elements of the stitch group that we construct. And uh, one I N G I N, uh, of course, I have to throw in the elements of I mod I N, there is no, there is no way around it, subject to, uh, subject to, of course, Coxter relations, um, and some more, uh, and a few more, a few more relations, most of which are obvious, but nevertheless have to be stated. Okay, so uh, let me just take one more minute and uh, tell you a little bit about the existence of the TITS group. So on the existence of T, of, of T tilde, okay, so the theorem is, uh, uh, if uh, if G splits over over F breve, then uh, uh, T tilde uh, of uh, W tilde over F exists. Okay, so it actually fits into an exact sequence S two tilde T tilde W tilde goes to one, where T W tilde is the evahori weil group. T tilde is the tits group of the evahori weil group that is constructed. This is again an elementary abelian two group. But, but it could be slightly larger than um, uh, this S2. If I just look at the relative root system and take H heck of minus one, it, it could be slightly larger than that, but it is, it is still an elementary abelian two group. Okay, and, uh, uh, and, uh, and uh, a remark, um, uh, T tilde does not exist in general. So we, uh, so for, for a widely ramified, uh, uh, ramified unitary group, uh, we show that, that its group does not exist. Uh, T tilde does not exist. Yeah, so uh, we the, we currently have the existence only when G splits over F prep, uh, which means that G is basically a G splits, on, splits over an unramified extension. And then we are able to show the existence of the Tits group in that case, which yields this uh, this presentation that I... So in the case that G splits over F prep, this, this, this presentation holds. Yeah, I, I guess I'll stop here. Thank you, Radhika. Uh, and... Questions, comments, remarks? Can I ask one question? Yeah, sure. Um, so you consider complex algebras, but I think everything can be done over Z. Yeah, this is and everything is done over Z. Actually, I just uh, chose to do it over C just to keep things simple, but everything is over Z. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. all these so results hold up. Going modulo P, uh, do you say something? Uh, I guess this representation simplifies. Yeah, 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 yeah. It holds over Z, so you can uh, base change to any ring or any field you want. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, Thanks. yeah, yeah. Any more questions? I have a little question. So this presentation is, ma'am, uh, so Ibahori Matsumoto type presentation. The first uh, one is called the Ivahori Matsumoto presentation. This one, I think it, will, it would be right to call this the Ivahori Matsumoto presentation. For GLN, this was done by Roger Howe. Okay, so, and this relies on the existence of the TITS group. So, if, I mean, it's, we have called it the Howe TITS presentation, but uh, that uh, this is a finer version of the Ivahori Matsumoto. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so by this, this existence of TITS group, is it, I mean, uh, so there is something called uh, Bunsen presentation. So what yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. In yeah. this also, I mean, is it possible? Okay, uh, that is a very good question. It is work in progress. We don't have the Bernstein presentation for this Heke algebra still. It is a, it is a, it is much more difficult than uh, than than what I have talked about here, but it is in progress, and I don't have a result to state as such right now. It's in okay. progress to obtain a Bernstein. It's a very good so, question. Uh, this this Ibahori group has to satisfy some decomposition. I mean, 
uh, I mean, either way. So, so all these generators coming at least some subgroups of this Eva uh, Horiwal group, and that uh, exact part uh, can, if one can write down uh, what Lustig did, so that uh, X star X Luster uh, semi-direct product with some uh, another group subgroup of the ordinary oil group, then is it possible? I mean. I don't uh, know. No, see, I mean, uh, I, one cannot just directly mimic what Lustig did because, okay. uh, you know, dominance, there is the notion of dominance. Yeah, yeah, dominance. Yeah. Yeah, 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 so then when you go to a deeper level, that, yeah. that becomes a very subtle question. Yes, so yes, yes. Uh, so it, it is not obvious what to do in that case we it is it is work in progress but I, but as i said i don't have a theorem to state about it right okay, now. Okay, okay okay yeah 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 okay. any more questions if not let's thank radhika thank you very much radhika and, uh, thank you we'll, thank you we'll yeah. meet at 15 minutes from now 11 10 yeah Right, Chandrashil? Uh, yeah, that, that's fine. 11, 10. Yeah. yeah. And I think for the ISC people, those who are in the math department, there is should be coffee. 1120, did you say? No, 1110. 10. Oh, 1110. Okay. Thank you. And you are the chair, yes. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I was asked. That's why I'm coming. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Chandrashil, you'll stop the recording, right? Yeah, I will stop.